the 25 billion shilling youth venture capital fund provided for in this running budget was aimed at aiding millions of youngsters kickstart as well as strengthen their existing enterprises and reduce unemployment but a cross section insists a regional approach is much better when you try to go to the bank you cannot get a clear data of the beneficiaries when you ask other political leaders you cannot even get any results. That's why it is, it is making it so hard for we as youth leaders to respond to questions raised by other youth. Now, as I talk right now, we're expecting that in the next financial year, youth will be considered. And the youth fund will be given, and actually, northern Uganda will benefit, in particular, Gulu district. David Wakikona, the state minister for trade, admits that government will do better. But I know the money exists and the, the accessing was a bit confusing at the beginning. But I know Minister of Finance will come here to make clarification and the people will be told how to go about it. Even then, emphasis remains that such would-be beneficiaries will necessitate training in micro-business management so as to avoid defaults in credit once advanced to them. They have a circle now. No youth will go buy a border because as a circle now, they will, be, uh, they will access lending without necessarily selling the land they are using. And then assist them in uh, the planning of their businesses. And again, we assist them in mobilizing. What are the strategies for mobilizing startup capital of any business? And how would you manage your business so that it is sustainable? These leaders were speaking on the sidelines of a business skills development exercise conducted by the Management Training and Advisory Center, MTAC, in the northern district of Gulu, as part of an ongoing job creation initiative. We are in a position to come and work with uh, the entrepreneurs at every level and help them to grow their business through providing appropriate uh, business advisory services. The Youth Venture Capital Fund, hitherto managed through the Ministry of Finance and Planning, was intended to be channeled through selected financial institutions in light of existing structures. However, challenges in accessing the facility, including requirement of collateral in some instances, is feared to have eliminated many yields.